Hello everyone. Um, I'm doing the directions for your Icy Hot Lab. Uh, since I was not able to go over them with you in class yesterday, I'd like you to take the opportunity to watch this for a few minutes so that way you have a good idea of what you need to be doing in this lab. First, you'll notice that last night, or as the case is right now, I'm going to do it in a few minutes, you should have in your Google Docs a document called Boiling Time and Temperature. Before you do anything, I would like you to stop the video and read this document and then answer it. Those will be some of your beginning ideas. That way you can discuss them in your reflection for how your ideas either changed or did not change. Also, in addition, uh, I had asked a question during third hour. Maybe I'll get to it ninth hour. I guess you'll, well, time will soon tell if I do or not. And the, the question that I left you guys with is, why do the particles hold together so strongly? That is the ultimate question you are trying to answer in this lab. So you also need to try to answer it as a part of your beginning ideas. What is your answer to that question? Why do the particles hold together so strongly in a solid? Again, why do the particles hold together so strongly in a solid? So then, your lab. Here's what it consists of. You will need a temperature probe. You will need your lab pro equipment, and you will need a computer. And also, you will need a hot plate. Um, the, sub for the, the sub will be getting ice from the teacher's lounge. You'll want to uh, also, I believe I said get a beaker. Um, should have a 400 milliliter beaker at your station, so all of these items should be at your station. The beaker, the hot plate, the lab pro, and the temperature probe, and obviously you guys have your computers. Now I would recommend that you fill this about three-fourths of the way full with ice. You'll see already the ice from the teacher's lounge is um, not holding well together already. A lot of it's melted somewhat. I'd fill it about three-fourths full with ice, and then I would add I'd add it about halfway full of water. So fill it to about halfway with water, about 200 milliliters. That would be my recommendation. You can then go ahead and get your uh, computer, your lab pro, your temperature probe, get everything hooked up together. And then open up Logger Pro on your computer once you have everything hooked up together. Make sure you have your temperature probe in the beaker. And when you're ready to start recording data, you may record the data. Um, to begin with, you don't have to turn on the temperature, but what I'd like you to do to begin with is find out what the starting temperature of the water is. Once you feel that the starting temperature has uh, has baselined. In other words, it has reached kind of a, a steady temperature. It hasn't started fluctuating either up or down one way or another. Then I would recommend starting um, rec start recording your data. So that way you know that you're getting an accurate temperature measuring first. You may want to mix the ice and water together so that way you know you are getting a much more precise temperature. Then when you are ready um, to start to turn on the heat, go ahead and turn on the hot plate. And you can turn it on, I'd say, a level of either um, 7 or 8 would be appropriate. Or maybe like 7.5. Try to display it as best I can here. I believe I've got it right now on about 7.5. And from there, just continue to collect data. In your experiment, uh, 
you may need to con you may actually need to extend the collection. In fact, uh, you'll want to do that. I'll mention to this to you guys in class to make sure that you watch the whole video first before you start the experiment. But in class, um, before you uh, get everything turned on and set up, on Logger Pro, you'll need to go to the experiment menu and data collection to change the time setting on it. The time setting is currently at 180 seconds. I would change that uh, for a time of like, I would change the time, the timing, instead of recording in seconds, do it in minutes, and then have it record for about 20 minutes. If you need to extend the collection, I believe you can go to um, experiment and data collection and you can extend the collection, or if you just go to experiment, there should be a uh, drop down menu choice to extend the collection by uh, whatever amount of time you'd like to extend it. It gives you a certain amount of time. You should be able to take care of that then in terms of being able to collect your data in a proper amount of time. Uh, as you're collecting the data, as you're collecting the uh, the temperature versus time data, you will want to you will want to stir your mixture together to make sure that your temperature is even throughout. Make sure that it's even throughout because at the bottom of the hot plate is always going to be the warmest so as you mix it it should allow it should allow for even distribution of temperature. You'll want to continue heating up heating it up until it gets to the boiling temperature. Once you get it to the boiling temperature I'd, uh, once you start to see it boil, I'd like you to uh, keep letting it boil, let's say for about, oh, give or take five minutes. It shouldn't take long to get it to the boiling temperature once you get it there. Try to keep it there for about three to five, let's say three to five minutes, and continue to stir and see what your temperature versus time graph does. Uh, once you are then done collecting your data, you can hit the stop button on your Logger Pro and pack everything up. And if there is another group that needs to collect their data, uh, you could actually leave everything set up for them. So that way all they'd have to do is just simply get more water and more ice to start. That should be all for this. Um, hopefully you don't have any more questions other than that. Uh, I would encourage you watching the video in case uh, you do have any other further questions. Uh, we'll try to go over some of the experiment in class today, as today's Thursday, and you'll probably be watching this on Friday. Uh, hopefully this should help to fill in any of the details. Have a good Friday, and I will see you on Monday.